Hey guys, it's Gaming 1205 and I am here to show you guys how to make smoke bombs. Now this experiment can be dangerous, so I suggest you be very careful if you're going to decide to do this. Anyways, in order to make smoke bombs, you're going to need a couple of things. Not a lot, and it's relatively easy to obtain. And the first ingredient, and probably the main ingredient you're going to need is going to be um, potassium nitrate. And this is called saltpeter, I believe, and I'm pretty sure you could get it anywhere. I got a miner like, on eBay, and I forgot how much it was, but it was relatively cheap. And for those chemistry nerds, what is the chemical formula for potassium nitrate? That's right, it's KNO3. Good job. Um, the next ingredient you're gonna need is um, sugar. And wait, you can see the sugar, sugar, glucose. Yeah. Uh, the next ingredient, one well, thing you're gonna need is pretty much something to measure with, like, or you can use a scale or something. But I don't have a scale. I lost mine, sadly. So I have to use these. Um, you also need something like a container that will hold the ingredients, like this. Um, and you also need like a few things to um, heat it up with. Like I I'm mean, you gonna use these because I always use it and pretty much ruin them already. Make sure you use something that you're not gonna need anymore because it will burn the thing and it will leave stains. Like this already got partially burned and stained. You see. And the last thing you're gonna need is um something to light it up with. I'm using matches. Use any lighter. But I think it'd be easier if you like use matches or some sort of thing like that. And yeah. Basic okay, what I'm gonna do is um I don't know how much sugar I have, so I'm gonna use um just a normal six to four ratio. That's how much it's, you're supposed to use. So I shall use this this the sugar. And I will use I'm gonna use the half cup one. Ah, god damn, I'm out of sugar. Oh well. The sugar's not so old, oh, crap, there's a lot. Well, the sugar's not so important. But, maybe I should... Maybe I should start over, because this, this does look like a lot. I don't want to make my whole block covered smoke. If you use a whole pound of this thing, you can cover a whole block in just smoke with pure white thick smoke. But I don't think that's going to be relatively important unless you guys are planning something. Yeah. So I'm going to use a third cup because it's a lot. There's one. Two. There's one. There's three. And here's four. It's still a lot because I still have to add the other ingredient. Now the KNO3, KNO3. Oh crap. One. Two. Three. Four. I pretty much wasted all the ingredients for this I had. So I hope you guys aren't hoping for another one. So, yeah. Look, look at how much I have left. That's like enough for like a small size smoke bomb, guys. Anyways, look at the end product. It's like from pre fill to the top. Now, keep in mind, I have never attempted to make a smoke bomb this big. So I don't know what the outcome is going to be. More than likely, someone's going to call the fire department and be like, oh, I saw like a whole huge cloud of smoke and... You should like go put it out or some shit, but 
it will make a lot of smoke because I may want like I say half the size or one third the size of this, and so I'm gonna put in a lot of effort to Im amuse you guys and hope that nothing goes wrong. Hell, I don't even think that the things I have is gonna be able to fill all these things. So what's that mean? I'm gonna light multiple smoke bombs at once. Anyways, with this being done, I'll meet you guys in the kitchen. See you there. Uh, hey guys, so um, remember this thing? Well, it was a lot, so I'm gonna transfer into this thing. And I'm gonna spread that white crack all over the place. You could tell with the sugar and with the saltpeter are different. And I'm gonna grab this thing. And I'm gonna put it on. I would normally use low heat, but uh, since I'm using a long plate in between. I'm basically use me medium heat and basically what you just do is stir it around for who knows how long until it basically starts changing color and this is going to be a long and boring thing especially if you have like a huge amount like me so yeah I don't think you guys want to stick with this so I'm probably going to fast forward not sure though if I have some funny commentary then I will use it but from from here on now, I'm probably going to see like a 16. That's followed by 16. And you'll see how fast and the change in color this thing goes. As you guys can see that it's like starting to like turn brown and like stick together. And that means it's getting there, it's like slowly making progress, but make sure that you get all of it. Or else it won't work. You can start to see more clumps of it now. Like I said, I haven't done this with a huge amount like this, so it is kinda hard and the heat's kinda getting to me, I'm like starting to sweat already. But now again, I'll fast forward. Alright, as you can see that um, the it's like the it's turning into like a liquid substance, and it just went flying over there. Make sure it doesn't go flying, cause it's gonna burn and do things like stain and whatnot. But basically, you're supposed to get it all into like a really liquidy substance, and that's when you could pull it into a container. Um, it's I don't know if my if this is gonna be hot, hot like really hot with a container won't pretty much do anything but I hope he was still hoping that it won't won't I'm just gonna let this chill around for a little longer cause well I'm pretty sure I'll get more liquidy but like you gotta do it fast like once it's ready you gotta do it fast cause it is gonna hurt once you like turn off the heat And it's good to have another utensil so you could like help scrape the the substance out of the little thing that you're using to like stir and whatnot. I have a butter knife, that's why I stopped like mid video to grab one. But like I'm gonna move this back a little and I'm gonna get the containers. Grab the containers. And these, these this is just about ready to ready to be poured and I should definitely go up and get these containers come on guys so as you can see I put back up just in case one does one turn off the heat and begin to pour and I don't know how I'm gonna do this but I should probably do it. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, just like that. As you can see, it's already getting a little burnt, so I have to hurry. And 
And it was probably a bad idea doing these because it's probably going to explode. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Can you hear the sizzle? Can you hear the sizzling? Oh, no. I should probably put the heat back on this because I don't want it holding. Oh, I'm winding. Everything's going wrong. Okay, maybe not. Hey, look, it actually worked. And now it's working. This one. Put the rest of it. I take a fill this one up. One more. Oh, come on, look at this. Come on, guys. Believe in me, and I can do what you guys want me to do. Oh, Jesus, you guys are not believing in me. No. I asked for one simple thing, guys. What's wrong with you guys? You want to see my house burn down, don't you? Anyways, come on, come on, just a little more. Come on, come on. Here we are going. Oh, jeez, did you see that smoke bubble? I saw that smoke bubble. Oh, Jesus, flying substance. Oh, Jesus, can you see what's happening? Everything's going wrong. Oh shit. Oh shit. Stop. Please. Oh shit. Abandon ship. Okay, looking. Oh crap. Okay, stay, please stay. Stay. Everything's going wrong, guys. I don't need this thing. Eh, eh. Come on, do not touch this. Whatever you do, do not touch it. It's gonna burn like a motherfucker. So if you hear me sc screaming in the background, you know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. It looks like a mushroom, guys. It's not cool. Yeah, it's falling. Ah, this one went terribly bad. But hopefully I can still use that thing. Oh god. Look at it, guys, look at it. Everything went wrong. Let's probably turn the heat off of that. Prevent. Oh crap, this burns so bad. <laughs> guys, everything went wrong. Can you hear the sizzling noise of it? I could probably scavenge the rest with some of it. Oh, Jesus. This one went bad. Well, I saved that one. This one will came out nicely. This one, on the other hand, like... This one. This one, be careful. I, I, should, I should probably clean this up. Guys. Guys. It, oh, it burns. It burns. Well, I managed to clean the other thing. I gotta clean that, this, and... Well, this is what we're gonna look. Well, this is what we're gonna look with tomorrow once it hardens and once it's all cooled down. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't see it coming. But that one, you have a bright future, my friend. Oh, right, and you guys want to see what happened to my thing? Look at it. Look at it. Look. Are you looking? Are you admiring? So yeah, be careful, I gotta clean that, so while this holdings, I'll let you guys know what happens or I'll take pictures and throw it in there or something. But for the meantime, that's all. So I'll see you guys in the morning because it is late and I cannot light this up at the moment. Look, there's a bubble for me. Anyways, bye bye guys. Hey guys, it's morning now and this the substance or this thing holding already, so let's see how much it um, these cups I don't actually need. Alright, there's two down. Three, well. This one. This cup got unlucky, look at that, yeah. It's a, it's a woman now, look. Has a little vagina. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, in my expertise, this has never happened to me, but... Uh, I don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah. Oh well, so I'm gonna use this. It looks like a UFO or whatever. And well, I scalping some of the thing from last, the thing that burned through this thing, this thing right here. And I carry it in this little cup right here. So we're gonna burn it. So I'll meet you guys outside.
Hey guys, and then I got the smoke bomb ready. I'm outside, and well, pretty much just ignited. One thing I did forget to mention is um, it's a good idea to put two matches in there, or at least one match inside the thing before the hood in, so it's like, easier to ignite. Now watch as a lot of smoke goes on. As you can see, there is a lot of smoke. And look at the amazing fire that is being formed at the moment. And yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I tell you, someone's gonna call the bomb. So there goes something wide. I should probably get out of here. Bye, guys.